Hello, people! My name is Rage, and welcome and all to some more Rebirth. And today, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. And now, a message from Future Rage. I just wanted to inform you all that I have been down the comments of the previous run and looked at the poll and everything, and the 100th special is coming tomorrow with what was winning the poll at the time, but I do have a lot of ideas, thanks to you guys, actually. So, I just want you to know that even if you didn't personally want what the 100th is going to be, it's a good classic one, you may be able to guess. I am going to do another Lost set of runs soon, and one I am excited about is I want to do co-op with Mini Rage. I feel like that might be really fun and get my little brother to experience the game. That could be really awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that that's happening and due to lifey stuff I had to record a few in advance and it may seem messed up on the timeline of space. Either way, enjoy today's run. I'm gonna deliberately try to do a speed run because I've never actually done that and there's a lot of seeded speed runs out there where they know the layout, they know the items, but I want to do one where I have no idea what it is that I'm going to be faced with and I'm kind of just trying to make it happen. So obviously I'm going to choose a Zazel for it and basically the seed is FBBA Full Brotherhood Brotherhood Alchemist Aggravate Grandma's Very Grandma and I want you guys to play along with Azazel as well, and I want to see who can get the best time. I think that would be a lovely fun. Another inspiration for this as well is you may have saw the the minus 10 there. Some lost stuff may have happened, but <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. Do you want to know? Do you want to know what what happened on on one of those? Do you want to know why it was it was it was really funny? Actually, it was it was really good. But basically, right, what happened was I had Abaddon. I was on the fourth floor. Everything was going wonderfully. I was wrecking. The world was happy, and I I got telepills. <laughs> And you want to know where Telepills put me? <laughs> it's a really funny story, actually. Telepills put me in the curse room, meaning I physically could not leave without dying and losing the run. So, I was not the best pleased, actually. I was not the best pleased. Now, I realize I left a bomb in the previous room, but I am going for speed here. I am going for swiftness. I am going for ultimate glory, because I think it's a fun thing to do. I've legitimately, as I said, not ever done this. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I can make it happen. Health up. Very, very nice there. We get some health for potential devil deals. We have ourselves the item room and... Uh, Ugh, that is, that is, you know, not great on the item front so far. I'll admit, not great on the item front, but you can't always get what you want. Oh, Cricket's head, yes, this. All right, it's like the game was like, speed run, you say? Here's Cricket's head. If only that was Tammy's head, can you imagine? But I, of course, am totally cool with getting Cricket's head there. That is a very sizable damage increase, especially to Brimstone lasers. Now, I do, of course, want this. I'm not going to risk damaging myself, so I am just going to use my bomb there. And two minutes to the second boss, I think, is definitely acceptable. Vroom, there it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that boss drop. Give me that boss drop. And... Uh, Ooh, we're going to take the pact, and then we're going to simply take the blue cap. Annoyingly, if we'd taken the blue cap, we could have taken the pentagram. That was probably a mistake on my part, but I'm feeling this. You're not feeling pumped right now. I am feeling so, so very pumped right now. Then we go straight into the devil room. I am going to take... Go ahead, and I'm also going to take Guppy's Hive as an investment for the future Guppy's Tail. It is, it is like, it is just, it is happening. 
It is absolutely happening. In my defense, I did not think he was a double-sided firer there, so that is okay. I think Gubby's Hive makes a lot of sense, because they will kill a lot of things very quickly, will those fly, so I'm okay with that. I do just need to play very carefully on this floor, though. That's something I do have to do a little bit low on the health, and I don't want to go crazy. Goat Head makes sense, because guaranteeing those Devil Deals is obviously a very excellent thing to do. That room was pointless, and of course it comes down to properly exploring all the floors as well, which may turn out to be an issue as we move through here. That really sucks. Apparently the one that hit me was the champion, of course, but, you know, we can't win everything. Unfortunately, we don't get a key, but we do get a load more flies, which is... Uh, Really, really nice. And actually, we may be able to get into this shop via the use of a secret room. And in fact, we might be able to get into the item room via the use of a secret room as well, depending on where it actually is. And it is not there, so hopefully... Come on, come on, yes, it is, okay. And we do actually get a key, so we are going to be going to the shop as well for a potential spirit heart. Sissy long legs. Not excellent, but we do have a Tinted Rock in here, which is probably better than Sissy Longlegs. Ooh, Bob's Brain. Let's take it. Let's take it. Granted, I have to get very close to things in order to use my Brimstone, which is probably bad. But at the same time, I think the extra damage increase, as long as I'm a little bit careful with it, is useful. I am going to take the Spirit Heart just because I'm a little bit scared about dying, and I've spent way too much time on this floor than I was wanting, which I think is definitely going to be a mistake, but I am enjoying this. I think there's definitely a different rhythm to it. I mean, obviously there's a different rhythm to it. We're going at a ridiculous breakneck speed, but you've also got to play very precisely as well. You don't want to make sloppy errors, and I think that's really where the uh, skill does lie in doing something like this. Yep, there it is. I was like, Bob's Brain, you're not going, you're not going, Bob's Brain. We are taking too long to kill Peep here. You need to go, Bob's Brain. What are you doing, Bob's Brain? And it was indeed too late. We do actually manage to get some HP up, which will probably make this Devil Deal a lot better because we don't have to pay Oh yeah, obviously it was this one, so I don't actually know why I felt the need to go in here. Potentially there is actually an argument for the flush being the better item than Guppy's Head, but I think Guppy's Head just speeds us up a little bit more than being able to just negate one room of enemies. I think that is a fair assumption to make. I've got to kind of work with the flies here as well and kill the things that they don't kill. If they go left, i got to go right. i got to do the fly tango. And this sucks. I'm just going to skip this room entirely. Although I do like how the flies were like, not before I killed that guy in the corner, because fuck him in particular. And you know, I like the way I like the way they think. I like the way they think. And at some point you are going to Yep, there we go. That you really, really did take your time there. Obviously, finding Tammy's head is of utmost importance. That is how it is done. Oh, we do have the boss room already. And I guess the real question is, do I want to go find the item room or increase the time now in order to maybe speed it up later? That's the real Question. Crampy boy, you're not going to stand in my way. Goodbye. We do get lump of coal, which is probably technically better. We'll grab the wooden spoon, and I feel like because the item room can't be too far away, I'm going to go for it. And I think I'm going to go chest because I've got Jera. Grabbing eight items is obviously the fastest way to a powerhouse. I have won this now combination, so I am liking that. We've got very fast firing high damage brimstone, which is obviously really, really excellent. We'll let them deal with that. We want to finish Guppy as badly as possible. As badly as possible? How badly is that? I, I apologize for the I, 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 I. I don't really know where I was going with that either, but this is, I am actually really enjoying this. And I am sorry if this was not the kind of episode you were wanting here, but I feel like it's a fun thing to do. It can be part of my ep 100th episode bundle of things, because I think that makes sense. 
the yeah, dead onion, obviously, yep, as we have now proven, was definitely a waste of time. But we do get our shop, and it's greed, so... Really, that was horrific. Now, technically, you can, of course, watch my run and don't make the mistakes that I end up making, which I suppose is a valid strategy, but don't be lame about it. God, don't, you just don't know anything. And away we go. I'm actually really happy to have got the wooden spoon because the extra speed is very useful. And because we got rid of Krampus, we do have a good solid amount of devil deals left for that extra last bit of power that we could need. Timed that pretty well, if I do say so myself. We found the curse room. Can we finish Guppy? We can't, but we do gain more health, which is obviously great. We'll grab those bombs. The amnesia is very much bad when I'm trying to kill things as fast as possible. Of course it is. And I hate having to chase these down. That is very, very lame. Although we actually did that room really fast. I am very much happy to have uh, these flies helping us out here. No keys there, which is really upsetting. I'm going to bomb the big row just in case and we do get nothing from it. Anything in here? Come on, give us a key. We don't actually get the key. That is very bad. This is a big time sink that we don't want to be dealing with here. So this is a little bit of a shame. But honestly, because we're killing things so quickly anyway, we don't really need to worry about this. So there we go. I mean, we will come back if we get a key. Assuming I remember, I think is the operative word here. And again, I'm not too bothered about damage that I take, as long as it doesn't get to ridiculously dangerous levels. Wasted too much time trying to make that work. And we do get the key, and it is definitely close enough to go grab our item room. I think it would be a very big mistake not to. Come on, be worth it! Oh, that is a shame. That is very, very much a shame. Monstro's Tooth is not what we are after right now. Honestly, the best item we found all game, apart from obviously the two guppy pieces, is probably Cricket's Head, which shouldn't actually be a surprise at all. It is ridiculously good. And it is good to get a golden key when you have Guppy's Tail, because it means any and all golden chests become very valuable sources of stuff. Though Tammy's Head is really all that's left to us in terms of having a particularly good gold chest. Honestly, it was worth taking the damage there. I calculated it. It was a calculated risk. We are down to fairly low health, but I think we can... I think we can allow for that. I definitely, definitely do. I hate that you can't pick up stuff straight away. It always is a little bit of a blocker. Bombs are key? Yes, actually. I'm happy with that because it gives us chest keys. Assuming we actually get to this chest, which I accept at this point isn't a guaranteed thing. But I'm hopeful. And we get replacement bombs straight away. We get... Hive mind, which is actually wonderful, of course it is. And I am going to. I realize I'm speed running, but I really want to get the 900. Come on! Yay! A blue candle has appeared in the basement. Okay. The blue candle, black candle, red candle, blue candle. All the candles! All the single candles! Alright. Up. Oh, is it this way? Yes, we'll open that. A load of. Nice stuff. The hollow shouldn't be too bad. Indeed, very, very reasonable there. And, whoa! Calm down. He was a key special. That is good. And our boss is the cage, which is very unfortunate because he takes a lot of killing. And we don't want something that takes a large amount of killing right now. But we did actually get through him very, very fast. We grab some extra HP up, and I don't want that. But the Black Hearts are actually good, because they let us blast through the next floor, which I think is uh, really important. I don't know actually how fast I'm going compared to you guys. 11 minutes feels reasonably quick for Depths 2. It does, but rooms like this obviously slow us down a fair amount in that chest. We gain keys, because these jokers that love to hide their keys in chests, I mean, really, what are they like? 
Found our item room. Tactical damage there clears the room very, very quickly. We do get the smart revenge fly, which actually with hive mind becomes one hell of a damage source. So that is really, really excellent there. Like, I've never been so excited to see Revenge Fly. And I'm normally very excited to see Revenge Fly. Like, you, you, I can confirm, you guys can confirm, that I am a big fan of that Fly of Revenge. I really, really am. Okay, Mother, where are you? 11 minutes to boss rush is obviously pretty acceptable. It is, of course, the power of Azazel. And goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. We'll open this. Uh, nothing... Of no, we do have a double key room, which I may have a look into. That is pointless. It's not worth even crossing that room for the other bottom. I like to imagine that those guys around that fire there were just like, Dave, did you just, did someone just pop into the room here? Did, did you just, did you see that? D Dave, did you see that? Steve, have you been drinking again? No, Dave, I swear, I swear on me mum, there was, a, it was a flying little devil thing. He appeared in the room and, and Dave, Dave, what, what, Pete? Shut the hell up, Dave. We are this close to kicking you out of our group. We've discussed it, and we think we think your craziness is too much. No, there really was a demon! Dave, this is your last warning, Dave. We hear you, Dave. And flies. Very, very good. I had to move out the way there because, of course, I didn't trust Bob's brain to help me out. And we get our devil deal. Of course we do. We get the mark, which is definitely worth taking. We get the spirit heart. Now, the real question is this going to be worth it? Fortunately, I'm not going to feel torn and nothing in that boss rush was worth the time there. So that is good. One more devil deal left. We are, of course, hoping to finish that guppy. That really cinches the run here. That always scares me, does that room, because I know I'm safe if I just stay there from their starting positions, but obviously it always feels like you were about to get wrecked. And I'm now thinking it was actually a really good choice to uh, keep Guppy's head, because these flies have been doing a sizable amount of work for us. That's very unfortunate, but it is the way of the world when dealing with Fistula. Smart fly doing what he does. And uh, gurglings shouldn't be too much of a problem. I feel like Bob's brain is actually one of the worst things we have on this run, because it's just, it's a lot of self-damage we have taken due to Bob's brain. It really, really is. That room is basically free flies. That, oh, I'm very tempted to give him 15 money, but it's, it takes a while. It does take a long time, and I don't think it ultimately will be worth the investment. We're going to ignore that gold chest. We have found our boss, which is lovely. That's annoying, but it's okay, and it is Loki, which is obviously just a joke. We get the box of stuff. Of course, we get the devil deal. Come on. Ooh, mum's knife. Mum's knife. Is that worth it? I don't think it is. I'm going to leave mum's knife. This may be a massive mistake, but I just, I don't know. I just think it, it's, it's sensible. What is that? Perthro? Oh, Perth Row. Boom. Okay, well, that is definitely worth it. So I am glad we did Perth Row that. And yeah, let's move on. Of course it damages me as a step in the hole. You know, there's nothing worse than being spiked from behind as you step into the hole in the womb. That's... Should think about these sentences more, probably, actually. Red Jess. No! If we don't finish Guppy, I'm going to be so disappointed with this, because we are so close to it. We really, really are. Thanks, Bob's Brain. Yeah, I think if I fail this and end up dying, which, you know, I'm okay. Dying for the cause of a speedrun, I think, is acceptable. But if I do end up failing this, I think Bob's Brain is definitely the biggest reason for it, because I think he's damaged me more than any enemy has. That worked out nicely. We'll grab the key and move on. Our flies are doing a lot of work, especially Mr. Revenge. In fact, activating Revenge Fly against Isaac, etc. is probably a really effective thing to do 
just because it will mean a constant source of high damage against him, which is kind of what you need. And where is our boss? Where is our boss? Somebody tell me the location of our boss. Seriously though, like, where is where is the boss at? He died very nicely. And again, just more money. I'm basically picking up the money on the off chance of getting monies equals power. I'd feel really stupid if it did actually drop in the chest and I didn't have it. Bob's brain, can you please go? Oh, it's dead. Well, that worked out surprisingly well. Like, genuinely surprisingly well. I did not expect that. Okay, doing pretty well. I feel like speedrunning without Tammy's head and without Epic Fetus is impressive in and of itself. Maybe? Is this impressive? I mean, Azazel's obviously the character for it, and I think I'm having fun. And I hope you guys are having fun playing along with this. Like, go, 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 Rage, you got this, you got this! And I hope you are. And I hope a lot of you are also trying your very best to beat whatever time I end up getting. So I think that'll be good. In fact, you know what? I'll turn this into a competition, because I've not done one of those in Isaac, and I think that could certainly be fun. If you submit to me tangible, actual evidence of you beating whatever time I get and completing the run, then whoever submits the fastest time will get a prize. I think that's a nice little thing to do with this, so... There you go, the seed was obviously at the start, you can go find it, and you can make things happen. Vom- oh, I kind of expected you to just die. How- how insensitive was he? I expected him to just die, and he just didn't. We kind of really want the curse room on here. I suppose what I actually should be doing is bomb skipping as much as possible. I'm not really gaining anything by doing all of this. I mean, granted, I am gaining charges of flies, which is very, very useful and probably necessary for Mr. Isaac, but I feel like there's a correct and non-correct room to gain charges on. Regis, come on. Oh, there's no point gerring them because it just doubles the contents. It only works on the chest to gera for increased itemage. Come on, finish that guppy. Finish that guppy Pandora's box. He's not horrible. It's a free angel room item. That is definitely not a terrible thing to get. So I am kind of okay with that. Are you, are you all right, little little maggot friend there? You Are you okay? You seem to be struggling a little bit. And uh, goodbye, monstro. I've got to go. Full health, kind of pointless. This chest, okay. All right, Pandora's box, what you got for me? The rosaries, okay. It's free hearts. That gives us the ability to be very aggressive with Isaac, actually. A lot more than we could have done. That may have been a very important pickup in terms of this speed run, which I am actually kind of enjoying. And obviously, you guys see the seed, so you can actually plan a route if you want a really fast time, which may be a interesting thing to see, actually. I would love to see someone wreck this seed. I really, really would. That sounds a little bit weird, but I am just going to move on. I feel like it's very pointless, me fighting through rooms that I don't need to. Sissy, I'm sorry for bombing you, sissy. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, this room is... No, this room's not good. I'm not going to deal with this room. It's a lot of a lot of fistula action, and I'm just not sure I'm ready for that amount of fistula action in my life. I'm just not sure I'm ready to commit to it. Sloth, I am ready to commit to, though, because the tarot card is obviously pretty useful. Kind of wanted to kill him with his own brain, but, you know, I didn't manage it. And, oh god, the fly hive! The fly hive! Too late, too late. We've given up on the fly hive. We have given up on the fly hive. The fly hive is gone. The fly hive is gone. I can confirm the fly hive has uh, taken off. The fly hive has listed. That is gone. We are over. The fly hive is finished. So we are unfortunately going to be dealing with just sissy. I mean, granted, just sissy. Don't be crazy, Rage. Sissy is the best. And I'll, I agree. Sissy is the best. I may have to deliberately take damage here. Just to push him so I can kill him faster. Yeah, see, now I think that makes a lot of sense. And yeah, that rosary 
as it turned out, really made a difference, because I would be dead right now if it wasn't for that rosary. So that is very, very cool to know. Top left we're going, and we're going to get grab ourselves eight items, which is obviously great. And goodbye, Isaac. So, effectively, we're relying on these eight items to give us enough power to annihilate the chest. That's really where we're going with this. We don't have a curse, which is good. There's the Jera. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. That's okay-ish. Ball of Tars, kind of fine. Rainbow Tears. Oh, God. None of that really did anything for us. That is very, very upsetting. I mean, I'm going to take Deck of Cards. Hope we get something good. We get Judgment, which potentially may be awesome. We'll get an item from this at least. So that's something. And then I'm probably going to take the Game Boy, just because... The invincibility may prove very useful, especially if I am on Blue Baby and need it. So I'm going to go with my left assumption. I normally assume everything of importance is left in any given chest. So there we go. And good. Bob's brain. Do not betray me, Bob's brain. I wish to not be betrayed, Bob's brain. Yeah, the slowness, actually kind of nice. We're going to get a tarot card. No, we're actually going to get that again. Monstro's Lung, does it do anything to Brimstone? Because I'm not entirely sure it does do anything of note. So I'm actually not going to worry about that at all. I think at this stage I would have... Oh, awesome. Halo of Flies is excellent. Let's maybe be a lot more aggressive. I feel like Monstro's Lung will only increase my charge time for not the damage amount to pay off for it, especially when I'm wanting to fire stuff as fast as possible. So I am okay with that. Stem Cells is not great, but it's an extra bit of health, so I can keep going, going, going as fast as I can. Thank you, Bob's brain, and you should be dead. There it is, and melt, melt, melt. You do actually have more health than Blue Baby, I think. So it's good that we are killing him as fast as we are. Having Guppy's tail, of course, on the chest is excellent. That was, an, uh, yeah, you know what? We're actually just going to Pac-Man this room because I will admit I totally forgot how the Pac-Man works in terms of fearing everyone away from you. So that was a little bit unexpected, but what can you do? I feel like I should have Pac-Man this room now. I really, really do. That is probably going to backfire. Though we're actually kind of resisting a load of shots here thanks to our Halos of Flies, especially because they are buffed up due to fact- no, Halo Flies gets buffed up due to BFFs, which kind of doesn't make a lot of sense, but what can you do? Oh no, this is not good. This is very much not good. Oh, that is, that is a problem. That is definitely a problem. We're down to one health. The speedrun may come crashing down here, but I feel like I did a sterling effort. I really, really did. Do I want the laser? I feel like I don't. I really feel like I don't. So let's go for the little room. I mean, how bad could it be? Oh, actually, surprisingly, acceptable as long as Bob's brain doesn't betray us. I am pleased by this. No item though, which does suck, but our regen has kicked in, which means we are now not dead to one hit, which is obviously of paramount importance. Please, can you die? Please die. Yes, item. Ten bombs. Not really what we're after here, but, you know, I guess it's... Ooh. Oh. Okay. All right, then. That's a thing. Hmm. This worries me a little bit. I'm actually going to nom the hauntlings. I think it's a good use of it. And then I want him to kind of attack, and then... Oh, the spider's got him anyway. Thank you very, very much, sissy long legs. Kind of don't like that you're pheromoned there, because although the pheromone shot is obviously useful, you're kind of 
like making this very difficult. Bob's brain, can you please do something? I need you to go so I can actually focus on killing. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, no! No, I thought he was dead! I genuinely thought he was dead! I was waiting for the room to fit- Ah, oh, damn! Well, that's what happens when you play recklessly for a speedrun, not knowing exactly the path through the chest. I feel like I did okay. 24 minutes, a few rooms away from Blue Baby. Would have killed him if we got to him. I'm okay with that. I, the gauntlet has been thrown. I want to see if you guys uh, can complete this run in 24 minutes or less, knowing with what you know. And the winning time, ragegaminggeneral at gmail.com. Submit it to me there with evidence, hopefully. You know, obviously I can't believe you without evidence. And we'll see what can happen. So there we go. A lovely speed run. We'll go back to a more normal run next time. I'm recording these without really knowing the results of the poll because of stupid real-life time constraints. So you're going to have to forgive me if it doesn't happen straight away, the 100th. But I've not forgotten about it, okay? Remember to like if you enjoyed this. It really does help. And I do appreciate it. And subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye. You've been watching.